hi everyone uh, today what we are going to see in this video is nothing but uh, drag and drop in oracle apex uh, i hope uh, some of the plugins are available uh, for that but it is very difficult to uh, uh, use the plugin uh, based on our uh, business needs and also many end users uh, will like these kind of drag and facilities in oracle apex so i just created some custom uh, css and also i just bring up with some uh, custom uh, uh, javascript codes to uh, use this drag and drop uh, facilities in oracle apex uh, uh, by the way of using the same css and javascript you can able to uh, use that for different kind of uh, uh, components in oracle apex like interactive report uh, interactive uh, classic reports navigation menus and also you can able to use for uh, getting the va uh, values and assign to the page items so without delay i will uh, show the demo and also i will uh, show how to create those kind of things okay so for example here uh, here you can see the cards right so as of uh, now i just created some drag and drop cards so here alan, uh, alan is here so i just copy this and uh, put it in the front end okay so i just put drag and drop and put it into the black uh if you refresh the page uh, even though the alan uh, alan and uh, blake will be stable here so you can see that also like okay another question is like for example uh if the end user is trying to do some modifications or changes in the card they just want to perform any other operations that also possible here so for example i just clicking the king here as a checkbox so automatically the color will, will be changed like you can see the background color will be as a king right so and also if you want to change it to the jones so here also you can able to do the uh, background operations if you are unchecking here it will uh, remain back to the original position and also you you can able to drag this car to some other else i put it here okay so i will show you how i achieve this okay okay so i have created a uh, what page here so i am just going to uh, run this okay so okay first thing is i i need to create i need to create two page items okay so let me create the two page items so before into that i need to create a one region I can put it as get values uh, content body and also I just play given as a standard as a blank with attributes like say okay uh, in this I am just going to create a two hidden page items okay so one is for getting the checkbox values and another is for getting the drag and drop values okay I put it here Uh, I put it as a get values. Okay, I will assign this uh, region to the get values section, and I mark it as hidden. Okay, so let me copy this and put it here. Okay, report. Next page item I need to uh, create. To get the values of this will be good and also I can okay. check this. So I put it here as so second step is I'm just going to uh, create a, a classic report. Okay, uh, because as of now I am just going to show the demo for cards, so I'm just going to create a uh, region. So I just call it as a uh, drag and drop. I just mark the type as classic report. Here I'm just going to select a SQL query and here I'm just going to paste my query. So here I have used one table as uh, sj underscore drag and drop table. Uh, let me show you the values also. Save. For 
our demo purpose i have a store uh, uh, these three columns like uh, i just bring up the employee name columns and also i have maintained one sequence id and also i have uh, maintained one checkbox value whether it is checked or not okay so uh, okay i have created so after that here you can able to see two columns right so i put it as a column name as hidden okay save okay here right so in the column drag i am just going to put here as this entire code in html expressions okay and also i need to go uh, need to change the uh, page item values here correct in the javascript so i am just going to uh, change the values as as of now we are using 114 so i am going to use the same 114 so there is no change uh, from here click okay escape special characters no and here also so uh, you can see uh, one okay fine so if when you are trying to run it uh, it will show these kind of values so for uh, to uh, to get the clear uh, look and uh, look and feel i am just going to add uh, one css okay so i think uh, it is available in one one so i have loaded uh, this css uh, into the shared components i hope you have already aware how to load it so i am going to uh, paste in the file url section css save okay now you can able to see the cards like it is uh, properly aligned okay when you are uh, when you want to uh, stretch into the entire uh, in uh, you can go to the attributes and you can give it as a stretch i can put it as disable disable save save just the push it now you can uh, able to the cards see okay now the problem is like now you can able to do the drag and drop but it will not affect into the database for example if you are moving uh, smith 2 into the first row of uh, column and it will not uh, uh, save it to the database for example i am just moved to the smith when i am going to refresh the page uh, again the smith uh, will remains to the uh, or back to the original position so so how how you can achieve it like i need to create two dynamic actions okay so first action i am going to create as uh, on change of okay so here i am going to uh, select the event as custom okay i am going to given as sj underscore sort and selection type will be the uh, javascript expression here i am going to uh, place the document and uh, true action i need to uh, execute pls skill code i am just going to copy this value and going to here and select the action as execute server side code okay so here we need to change the page item value on 14 get get values click save okay next what i am going to do like uh, again i need to create a another dynamic action 
okay so i'm copy this word i'm going to create uh create dynamic action on change of again jquery selector here i'm going to copy this sd.check here I need to create two, uh, three dynamic actions. First thing is execute JavaScript code. I am going to copy this JavaScript code. Code section. Okay. And uh, I need to select the affected item, right? So here I am going to uh, select my checklist item and click save. So second action I need to again uh, need to create the execute PLA skill code so create action execute server side PLA skill here I am pasting here so uh, I need to change the my page item value here Uh, in the items to submit section checked values okay. so after that I need to create a another action as submit page okay so create action submit page okay. Say. that's all I am going to uh, refresh this okay now you can see uh, whenever the data has been ch changed that means uh, when the user has tried to drag the cards from one place to another place automatically it will update into the table for example now you can see the allen value as one in the sequence id right so i am going to change from allen to turner here in the last section now you can uh, see it in the uh, back end. Now you can see Alan is uh, moved into the last section. Okay, see Alan is in the 14. Now I am going to change same Alan into before. So it has to come as a uh, 13, correct? Again, I rerunning this query. Now you can see 13. Okay. Here you can see the value as checked, right? So for Alan, it is giving us n. When I enable it as Alan as checkbox, it will change the background color, and also it will uh, update the status. Okay. So likewise, uh, you can able to. Uh, uh, do uh, do the uh, customization in your uh, cards and also you can able to do the customizations based on your css okay so uh, this this javascript function uh, will be used uh, to pick up it uh, can be used in uh, in classic reports interactive report to reordering the interactive report values and also to uh, uh, copy one value and put it into the page item so by using this drag and drop, uh, I hope the end user will like uh, 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 this kind of features. So I hope you like this video. So thank you so much for, for watching.